first of all, I think it makes a big difference when you are sitting next to people and you have the time to discuss, you have time to generate arguments, which is something that you cannot do when you are doing these uh, things online as we've been doing them during the pandemic. So that's, that's one important issue that um, even though should be natural now, it's still quite significant. Uh, perhaps the other uh, interesting uh, aspect of, of the uh, jury sessions is that everything is very well organized. Uh, I mean, the Prias Electronica has been running for many years. Uh, and uh, I mean, the way in which we can work with the information, because there are so many uh, applications that at least we have some tools that enable us to analyze the diversity of the, um, of the applications and other aspects such as gender, which I, I think that today are fundamental uh, in order to take into account uh, a jury decision. It was a wonderful group of people coming together from very different perspectives and ideas about art and the meaning of art in the current moment of time that we are now. Um, how the technology is being used, what is the meaning of it. Um, so we, I think what it was really incredible is that the time uh, that we had to be able to discuss many of these topics in a more philosophical layer as we were being informed by the, the work of art that we were experiencing. And another incredible opportunity was that we were able to re-review many projects again and again and, and each one of us bring different perspective and ideas that we had. Um, a lot of time contradictory, right? But, but come to consensus about what, what is our role as an institution, what is the message that we are sort of bringing in to this current environment thinking about, again, like um, how, the, how, how, how are we rethinking about the role of art, technology, and also knowledge building, culture building, and culture shifting. And what it was really also beautiful, as um, you mentioned, was to think about, to allow the, all this diversity of projects that existed from different perspectives, different point of views, and different approach that each one were bringing in. So as, as you remember of the Prias Electronica Interactive Plus, we wanted to really stretch the plus and showcase um, critically uh, what's happening today, our current times. So, now that the world is facing its deepest political crisis um, and as a result of the pandemic, uh, we have not only become more aware of the technology, but also because we use it in our everyday lives, we also understand how um, prevalent are the social inequalities. Then, then we believe that the works should demonstrate the uh, importance of revealing some aspects that are commonly hidden and that uh, are seldom uh, reachable. Um, and some of them are as general as wind, the idea of the wind or sleep or ancestral knowledge or even bacteria behavior. And that's what we wanted to see how artists are building a new consciousness, uh, discussing about these issues and also the crucial role of uh, technologies within this landscape. So definitely uh, the, the time of pandemic and the limitation of the pandemic, we did notice uh, a certain type of work that it was harder to, to realize, like for example, installations or manifestations in the, in the 
larger scale and physical spaces. But it was what it was also quite interesting to witness was this sort of cross-continental collaborations that it was forming and building during this period of time. Uh, for example, the, the artists from Bogota and Taiwan. Um, but another, another aspect is that the urgency of our, the, and the criticality of the time that we are in, a lot of projects are really in a beautiful, some in a poetic way, some in a direct way. They are rethinking uh, the structural um, society. Despite the limitations or like the, the, the ways that artistic representation has shifted, what it was really predominant, we felt, was that sort of collab collaborative and collect collective approach that it was beyond boundaries. And perhaps the other relevant uh, um, element within many of the um, proposals that we selected was the use of technology and very advanced uh, technologies such as AI or, or machine learning uh, to address uh, issues with regards to minorities. Mm -hmm. So in a way, pushing us to understand their condition as minorities, but as part of, uh, of, of the society. And I think that's particularly relevant, especially in uh, our current times, when there, where there is a lot of intolerance and uh, where there is uh, uh, a risk of one way of thinking. So I think that it's, this is actually a way in which technology which usually is criticized because of its standardization and homogenization, mm -hmm. opens and diversifies cultures, diversifies ways of understanding uh, ourselves as human beings. Mm -hmm. One of our main aspects of our discussion was this um, why and who and how, uh, who, who, and, and what is the role of what is the role of art in 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 our society? And it's a diverse way, and actually, kind of that sort of multiplicity of approaches and ways of engagement is actually the beauty of of art and art and and critical thinking and critical creative approach uh, to problems that it defies that sort of singularity and it allows for many, many ways of approach and many ways of, of engagement with critical issues. Like some could be self-reflective, some speculative, some um, they are bringing forward more that sort of systemic issues and oppression and provide alternative ways of engaging engaging with them. Perhaps the other issue, as Rasheen was mentioned, it, it's a systemic approach to problems. So it's not just, just looking in a, in a one dimension, but analyzing how the issue of climate change is connected with, um, uh, let's say, economic activity or it's connected mm -hmm. even to our individual actions but not in the way in which is usually shown to us uh, using the commercial uh, devices that we um, uh, use in our daily lives but taking into account other aspects that may generate a sort of behavioral change or at least making us aware or, or making us reflect in other aspects that are not that evident. Mm 